paint palette, hamburger, smiling detective, shooting star, sunglasses. What the hell am I talking about? Hi, I'm Will Fang. I'm an Aquarius. I'm a professor of touchscreen linguistics at Didcot Parkway University. I'm a father of eight. But above all this, I am an emoji. Some confused faces in the crowd. That's fine. I'll explain. An emoji is someone who uses emojis. What are emojis? <laughs> These little fellas. Right there. And get this. You've got them yourselves. Go on, check your phones. They're right there. Exactly. Where did emojis come from, though? You know, when were they created? What on earth do they want? These questions may never be answered. What we do know, however, is what emojis mean. Banana. Chinaman. Camel with one hump. Murderer's footprints. Camel with two humps. Just to name my favorites. This is what makes emojis so powerful and so unique. They provide us with a visual means of conveying words. Just think about that for a second. Before emojis, I would have to shout the phrase, silly ghost, into the sky and just hope one of my friends heard. But now, I just send one of these little guys silently through the ether and wait for my friend's reply, or remoji, which is usually that. This is the future of communication. We can now use symbols to communicate language. Incredible, no? However, does that remind anyone here of something we all already know intimately well? That's right, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Heron. Big eye. Mustache comb. Chinaman. These hieroglyphs, or primojis, led the Egyptians to become one of the greatest powers on Earth and helped them to fool water, bury giant Toblerones, carve Mount Rushmore, and pickle cats. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does the rise and fall of the Egyptian empire have to do with me? One word, I think. Emojis. Emojis allow us to communicate complex messages within a matter of seconds after we spent about seven minutes looking for the right one. It's a compact language, building rich and vivid sentences with astonishing concision. Previously complicated communiques, such as, this bus is on fire, get the gay parents out before the aubergines explode, can now be made with a single flurry of this special keyboard. Emojis allow us to express our emotions with more precision and sentiment than Roman letters or Arabic numerals ever could. Gone are the dark days of less than three to proclaim our love for one another. Emojis now allow us to express ourselves to an unprecedented level of detail. I'm in love. I'm in love with an Irish person. I am in love with hallucinogenic drugs. I am finding this long-distance relationship difficult. And of course, I am delighted to say the double bypass was a success. But it is not just we here in the United Kingdom that are enjoying the manifold benefits of this extraordinary new tool. Emojis are universal. They're borderless. They transcend cultural boundaries by tapping into something deeper, into what makes each and every one of us truly human. Emojis are already doing incredible things on an international scale. In inner-city Detroit, teachers in problem schools are now taking their students on trips to virtual emoji zoos, showing these children the awe-inspiring diversity of God's creation without ever leaving the comfort or moderate safety of the classroom. In my own native Malaysia, local street vendors have adopted the emoji and language to alert one another of particularly gullible Western tourists, and are, as a result, doing better business than ever before. You go, Pang. So, whether at home or abroad, young or old, in sickness or in health, emojis are changing all of our lives. For the better? Yes, obviously, of course, that's the whole point of the talk. Now, 
Ladies and gentlemen, no, ladies and friends, I want to build a better world, an emoji world, a world where each of my eight sons can communicate to each other, can tell each other in the blink of an eye that one of them has just married a beautiful flamenco dancer, or that he is lost and terrified in Chile, or that he has just accidentally blinded his pet monkey. We're all emojis. Won't you join us? Thanks. Or should I say, cheers. Thank you. Hello, I'm Phil Wang. Uh, thank you for watching. Do check out the other Dave Talks uh, videos and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.